Welcome to Tech Chat. Today, I'll be reviewing the Red Dragon M908 Impact Gaming Mouse. I've been using this mouse now for about a week and was blown away on day one. This mouse is fairly large. I actually think it's the largest I've ever owned. And if we believe this chart I'm posting here, my hands are only a medium and it still fits great. It has a total of 18 programmable buttons, all which are customizable in the software, starting with the left click, the right click, center scroll, you have your uh, double left click or second left click, your up down which are come preset as your DPI settings, then you have on the side here your 12 programmable buttons with two rows of six buttons which are each angled in towards each other as well as a notch on the five and a notch on the eight to help your thumb know where your finger is placed at all times so you don't have to spare that extra second to look down okay so I just booted up the software here and as you can see it brings up this program window with your Red Dragon logo in the top left, Impact Gaming Mouse in the top right, and right now we're sitting on the Info tab. Let's, uh, let's check this out. On the Info tab here, you have the version number, the category of what we're using, which is a wired gaming mouse, and the model of what we're using, which is the M908. I'm currently using my secondary mouse, so when I make some changes, you can see the effects it has to the mouse. Alright, let's check out the Lighting tab. This is one of the tabs you probably spend a lot of time in, unless you know exactly what you want already. Starting with these right here, it puts us on fully lighted, which with fully lighted you just get a solid color where you're able to change the brightness. I'll just go through a few colors just by clicking on the color you'd like. And then you just hit apply. And that'll apply it to your selected profile. Alright, let's go through the rest of the lights. You have rainbow, where you can customize your brightness level and speed. Breathing, where again it's just a solid color and you can customize the brightness level and speed. Wave, also just brightness and speed. Go without a trace, which isn't necessarily my favorite, but is quite bright. and which is also the only thing you can change on this one. Then you have reactive, which reacts to movement on the mouse, changes colors as you move the mouse, and last but not least you just have flash, where it flashes a solid color of your choice. On flash, you can also change the brightness level and the flashing speed. The final mode here is just off, which, why would you buy an RGB mode and just leave the lights off? I don't know. I'm going to keep it on rainbow, with a high brightness and a high speed. Let's check out DPI. DPI here allows you to change all your programmable DPI settings from uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, which I currently use stage 2 at 1000. These can be customized from 200 all the way to 12,400 DPI or anywhere in between and set to whichever level you would want which is changed with these buttons here as you can see I currently have it on level 2 we'll start at level 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 just to show you how crazy fast that is I'm barely touching this mouse and it's going everywhere so let's get that back down. As you can see, that is a lot better. But it is an option if you choose. Now down here, you have all your five profiles, which you can set through, or do quick changes through, with this button right here called Mode Switch. So you don't always, once you have your profiles programmed, you don't have to come back in the software to switch between them. Now let's get to the main tab where everyone's going to be spending most of their time. The general tab. 
On this tab, you see here you can program all of your buttons, your acceleration, your pointer speed, scroll speed, double click speed, and your polling rate. To program the side buttons, you just click this tab here, which brings up a picture of the side angle of the mouse, and then your 12 programmable buttons. To program a button, all you do is just click on it, and it brings up a tab, or a menu here, with some tabs showing you what you want to put there. Now if you're wondering what fire rate is, or fire key, that is three consecutive left clicks. I use that on this key right here, number four. I call it the cheater key. <laughs> I'm not that great at games, so, and I don't play much online, so that's what I use. Anyways, that's about it for the software. Once you're done setting all your keys, your DPI, light, and your profiles, you can save to your computer to put on a USB stick if you're going to someone's house and want to load up profiles there. If you have profiles on a USB stick or your computer, you can load them here. Restore will set this profile that's currently highlighted back to default, or whichever profile you currently have highlighted, I should say, back to default. Reset all will reset all of your profiles back to default. Apply applies all the changes you have made. Cancel cancels your changes and exits. OK will also apply your changes and exit the program. Now seeing all the features I've listed in this video, including 18 programmable buttons, adjustable weights inside, customizable RGB, customizable and programmable DPI settings, a nice large lip for your thumb to rest, third finger and pinky as well so you don't drag on the mouse pad. All of these things and more for just $37 Canadian? Well that's a bargain if I've ever seen one. And I believe this could compete with any mouse at twice its price. Well that was my how to and review of the Red Dragon M908 Impact RGB Wired Gaming Mouse. If you're interested in getting one of these mice, head over to reddragonshop.com where you can view this and many other great products. If you like this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and possibly subscribe. I'm Andrew, and this was Tech Check.